Do you have any problem with your uh, cutter head bogging down? Here today I'm going to show you a video how we identified the problem. Let's assume that your cutter head was working good and the head now is bogging down. It's getting weaker and weaker. Well, first of all, we have to isolate the problem. Is it the skid steer himself or is it the cutter head, the attachment? Let's find out. We're going to start the skid steer and we're going to remove the case drain. Here's a small line, that's the case drain. Uh, we remove the quick copper to make sure that the oil can flow free in the hose. And we're going to see how much oil we're getting out of the motor when we're turning. We should here, we should see just a small leak. If you have a big leak, that's the motor. If we have a small leak, like one gallon, half gallons per minute, the cutter head is good, the skid steer is the problem. This was a natural leak. Don't forget to put it back in the case drain, because if the case drain is blocked, you're gonna break the seal or break the, the motor. Now, if you have something like this, problem is the motor. Motor is wearing out inside it, okay? Don't forget. If you have a small leak, like you saw, the problem is not the cutter head. He is the machine himself. That's it. There is no secret. Now, for any reason, you're working with the cutter head. Everything is fine. You have the power. You hit something, a stomp, and you start again the cutter head, and the, the drum doesn't want to turn at all. 99.9% is going to be the check valve on the Rextwat motor, if you have a Rextwat. We will show you where is it? And I'll clean it. Like I said, check valve. This is a Rexwatt motor. We have a check valve on the top and on the bottom. On the top, usually on your skid steer, we don't have any check valve inside it. That means the one that you have to check is the one on the bottom. You take one, uh, a wrench, one inch and a quarter, and you take a hammer just to broke it. When you broke it, then you have to be careful. You remove it, and here, see, you have a spring, and this, sometimes it just squeeze, it stay open. Then you should be all right, okay? Then with, with a wrench, you tie it up. 